Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Keepling. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paper jet. I like to call it the super jet. Now, the reason I'm doing this instead of like uh, any other uh, usual kind of gaming kind of video is because, you know, I was I was thinking I recently turned 18 and I was just looking back in my, my childhood because I have so much time around in quarantine and I was like, you know, as a child, I used to make a lot of stuff. I used to like, if I didn't have something, I used to go and make it instead of try to get, try to buy it. I was more resourceful then and I was like, why am I not resourceful now? And I decided to go back and just, you know, see what I have and, and start making stuff. And one of the stuff I used to make a lot was this paper airplane um, that, I, that I found online. And then I, I, I got this, uh, this idea that I started to make my own, own version of it. Um, and it's, I think it's one of the best paper airplanes I've ever made. I think it was because I was like eight years old and I was in uh, in school. We had this paper airplane competition and whoever could whoever could build or not build, whoever could make the, the paper airplane that, that glides the furthest uh, wins or a prize or something like that. And uh, I won that because I, f I made my uh, own uh, airplane and I was making this, this thing, anything that could glide um, the furthest. And that's kind of what created my interest in physics. And so um, that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. All right, guys. So to start off, you're going to need an A4 sheet of paper, any A4 sheet of paper, as long as it's A4. Now, I have a recycled paper because, well, because recycling is good and I ran out of A4 paper. But the point is recycling is good and do that, kids. OK. And secondly, uh, once you have this, make sure you have your hands nice and ready because you're going to be using them a lot for this video. Instead of wasting time, I think we should just get right into the video and teach you how to make the best jet, paper jet, airplane in the world. Alright guys, so here we are in my desk and uh, I'm using this piece of D&D uh, Dungeons and Dragons character sheet back when my friends and I used to play Dungeons and Dragons in school. Now the reason I'm using this is obviously because I told you before I don't have any other A4 paper, but uh, also it's good to recycle. Now the steps I'll be describing in this video are not too difficult. Uh, you're gonna have to um, pay attention and just kind of you know follow along. And if you don't understand something just go back and just look at it and look at how I do it. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, ask me in the comment section below. But let's just begin. Now, I'm just... Im imagine this is just a plain piece of uh, A4 sheet of paper, all right? Quite quite straightforward, nothing nothing different. All you're going to do is you're going to take the right side of the paper, and you're going to bring it to the left left side of the top. So basically, top left. Right, top right meets top left. I should have just said that earlier. All right, so we're going to take that over there and just bring it close by so you guys can see. We're going to want to create this nice kind of a edge meets edge kind of thing without any excess paper going over and we're just going to bring that and we're going to just crease through the 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 edges over here now i usually like to use my fingernails and just run crease them uh, run them over with my nails but that's up to you uh, this is your choice but obviously this is better because it'll just stay there and once you're done open it back up and you should see this nice line over here there's a vertical line on your uh, piece of paper. What you're going to do now is you're going to take this top and you're going to bring it down to the bottom and you're just going to do the same thing we did before. Just crease the edges. That works perfectly fine. And again, run through your uh, fingernails. That's what I like to do. I kind of don't have any because I just cut my nails a few, a few days ago. Anyway, um, yeah, and I actually usually like to go over again just in case and just get that crease nice and solidified. Um, all right, so here we have it open, open again. Now this is an important step. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take this top right uh, corner here and we're gonna bring it over to the middle. But watch carefully because this is not normal. We're not doing this, okay? We're not doing this. We're gonna do something a bit different. Of course, you can start off by doing this and just don't crease it yet, but just crease the top part a little bit. Just a little bit. Because what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna move it to the left a bit. Because what you wanna do is to have this section follow and overlap this. So what I mean by, uh, let's just hold this for a second. Let me just bring this to the left a bit and wait for this to just, to just nicely go over that and creates a nice sharp edge over here. See that sharp edge? That's what you want. We're gonna have to uh, crease this area here and just give this a nice sharp little edge. It's okay if it's not perfect. If it's not perfectly sharp, it's okay. You're not in trouble. Let's give it a nice 
crease on the edge. It's very important that you crease this. I actually would recommend you use your fingernail. If you don't, just use something hard, like um, an AC remote or something, and just you know, just make it crease, crease it nicely, and it's pretty much good to go. Uh, do the exact same thing to the other side, so the other flap, taking this corner. Again, just for just for practice, is perfect. Purpose, pur blah, blah, blah. Purposes, we're gonna take, we're gonna follow this horizontal line to get this middle section area correct, and we're gonna slide it up over here a bit, just to get this corner nice and sharp. And once it's sharp, we're gonna crease this up, crease this, nice, yes, crease it up, nice. And we're gonna take your fingers and run it over to give that nice finishing crease. There you are. You're Pretty much done. Good job, guys. We're good. We're almost halfway there. What you're gonna do now is simple. You're gonna take this corner. We're gonna bend it over right here. We're gonna fold it to this line that we just made. Now, I think this is easier for you guys to see. We're gonna bring it over here, and you could use your middle finger just to crease this place up, just to make it a little bit easier. And just bring it over here, guys, and make sure that it hits nice and well. Make sure it follows the crease that you made and just crease this part out. Again, use your use your uh, nails because uh, that way it stays in place and it doesn't mess up, it doesn't uh, disturb you in later, later uh, stages. Same thing to this side. Bring it open, bring the, the flap down, and uh, try to get this nice and, and clean and uh, get this nice and sharp. Again, take your finger, run it over, Get this place right there, get this right there, and we're done, pretty much, pretty much done. And uh, what you're gonna do now, now this is an important step, and I say it's important because it's important, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is open this up, okay? Now, you, once you've opened this up with your hand, okay, with your hand, hold it down, we're gonna take this, put your finger, I mean your thumb, just bring it up here, tuck it up a bit, okay? Tuck it up and take your index finger and push it in. Now, once you do that, you'll see that it creates this kind of kite kind of a diamond kind of a kite shape here that's good you're gonna want that you're gonna want to do that and just crease it over and secure this with your uh, paper airplane same thing here i'm going to take my thumb okay i'm going to insert it inside this little uh this little pocket over here i get a i need a few tries just to inside yeah thumb inside guys index finger push it in just push it in slowly and we have this nice little diamond slash kite shape over here and you're pretty much good to go here from now on you can just again crease it up crease it up a bit your airplane just make sure it's a bit nice and and uh, solidified and make it good okay it looks nice it's good what we're gonna do now is gonna one sec all right you're gonna fold it over to here fold it up fold it up okay fold it up and now there you are now the next step for this, guys, you're gonna take this corner, we're gonna bring it down, okay? We're gonna bring it down. You see this this, this another uh, vertical line that we made back then? Same thing, we're gonna take this, make sure it follows that, bring it over to the line and just crease it up. Nice and simple. We're gonna do the same thing to the left side. Sorry, I'm back. Now, what I was saying, I was gonna crease this up a bit again, crease it up, yes. Do the same thing to the other side. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You're about 80% of the way there. Um, what you're gonna do from here is fold this up like here. Okay, fold this down here again. Do the same thing here, fold it out. Looks like I've kind of, yep, do the same thing right here. Fold it in, and you're pretty much good to go. Like, you're pretty much done. And once you have this, this, this side, well, you might be at this side by then, but try to find the side that, that bends, like folds towards you. Like, it, this edge comes towards your face. Whichever side that is, you're gonna wanna take it and fold it right there, okay? And now you have this kind of this, this, this triangle kind of shape here, that's nice. This is basically what you're gonna wanna do. And you're gonna take this, this left side, and bend it, just fold it over here. Okay, now this is where you're gonna have to get a little bit creative because it depends on your hand size. For me, my thumb is pretty big and I like to hold with a little bit of space for me. So I like to have a few centimeters of space for me to hold it, but it's up to you really. And so you can just fold it depending on what you want 
and here we are. We're gonna do that, so that's fine. It works for most people, um, but again, it's up to you. And once you're done, you're pretty much good to go. What you're gonna do now is simple. It's actually what we've been waiting for this whole time. What this, what makes this a jet and not a normal airplane? Actually, you guys, well, up here you have two flaps. One over here and one over here. Now, this flap, you're gonna bring this to this top area up here on the top left. And you're gonna crease this area nice and well. Now, do the same thing to the other side. Bring the top flap down here and bring it down to this bottom area until you have a nice horizontal crease. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done with your, uh, with your airplane. Now you could just bring this up and just, you know, uh, bring, bring your, your flaps, your wings, your second wings up here. Uh, maybe crease it up if you want, make them nice and sharp. Well, you're pretty much done with your airplane, because look, you can just throw this out right here, right? Like this, it's perfectly awesome. But here we are guys, 10 minute tutorial, obviously is gonna be much shorter, but uh, this is how you make the airplane and it's, I like to call it a super jet, a uh, paper super jet, but uh, basically this is it. And I'm gonna go show you guys a few flight uh, test runs. So let's get right to that part. All right guys, so we have the airplane over here. It's a very nice jet and this is my living room. So I'm gonna be taking this airplane and I'm gonna throw it over there. <laughs> Okay, yeah? Alright, so, get ready for the airplane drawing. It's very important this part, you gotta hype it up a bit, you know? You can blow it in, inside this bottom area to give it more aerodynamic. I'm joking, that doesn't do any of that. And you just, let's just throw the airplane. Bruh. Cut, cut, cut! Now, obviously, that was just, just a test, you know, just to check if things were working. It's. It's not. So let's just throw it again, but this time properly, because you know, we just want to see if this plane works or not. So we're going to throw it up. <laughs> okay, that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Did you get that? Yeah. Good. Let's, let's get a close up. Close crash up. landing, crash landing. Oh no! Oh my! You see that? Yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, that? That's how you throw an airplane, all right? Well, a paper airplane, let me be more specific. Throwing an actual airplane might be a bit difficult. So that was the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and actually learned something. If you did, please make sure to leave a like in this video and a comment saying that you liked it. Or you don't have to, or you could just say you don't like it. It's fine, just be honest. I would only learn from your, your genuine thoughts. Um, as well as uh, if you have any other requests, if you want any other tutorials, like any other origami stuff, like Ninja Stars, tell me, I will make them. Because I used to do them all the time, and I uh, I have a lot of time, so I can I'll be I'll be free to uh, to give you guys some help in making these awesome origami stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys liked it, please make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon over there. You see that down there? That bell. Click on it. Yes, click on it. Yeah. Okay. But when you click on it, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, which is kind of rare. So <laughs> so you're gonna need that notification bell. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I uh, really enjoy making it and I hopefully, hopefully you guys did uh, enjoy watching it as well. And so uh, yeah, uh, stay safe as always, stay home, don't go anywhere. Uh, and, and yeah.